So today I'm going to be trying out a new foundation from the drugstore. This is the Marcel Flawless Luminous Light Infused Foundation. That is a seriously hefty name. So this is being sold as a light infused foundation with skin fusion technology. I picked this up for $18, so we're sort of creeping into high-end territory, um, and you get your standard one fluid ounce of product. So I purchased the shade Buff Beige, which is the second to lightest shade in the line, and there are only six shades available, which isn't great, but Marcel is a Canadian drugstore brand and their foundation shade ranges tend to be on the small side. It's usually limited to about six to eight colors. And on their website, it says, silky texture that glides on for a natural luminous finish, enriched with hydrating hyaluronic acid and pro-vitamin B5, enriched with energizing vitamin C and caffeine hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, dermatologist tested. This foundation is also paraben-free, oil-free, and 24-hour long-lasting. So if you're enjoying this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the Marcel Luminous Foundation, how it applies and wears throughout the day, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. Always when I'm filming. We had a thunderstorm last night, so wouldn't you know the arborist arrived today to destroy whatever tree branches are on the ground. Well, we'll just keep going and I will do my best to chop the noisy bits out. So I've already washed and moisturized and primed my face and as always, all the products I use will be listed in the description box below. So I have a feeling that this foundation is gonna be way too dark. Well, I don't know. It looks a little dark for me. I'm really pale from like the neck down. Like my face tends to be about like two to three shades darker than the rest of my body. So I tend to prefer a foundation that's a little bit on the lighter side. Unfortunately though, this was only available in six shades, which isn't that great. And the next shade down from this was way too peachy pink and would have looked really off. So I'm just gonna bring this down my neck and try and make it work. So this is the packaging. It has this really nice weight to it and it comes in this little glass bottle. It also has a pump, which is awesome. I don't know, I don't hear anything moving in this bottle, so I have no idea how thick this is gonna be. So we'll do two pumps. Come on. Maybe two and a half. Start with that. Yeah, that color, mm, well, it's not bad. It's just not great. So on the right side of my face, I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. And on the left side of my face, I'm going to use brush number 702, the CC Plus Skin Perfecting Brush from Make Cosmetics. Okay, we'll start with that for now because we can always go back and add more. The coverage for this is actually pretty good, although the color for this is definitely a little dark for me when you compare it to my neck. I have a bit of a melasma patch up at the top. You can still see it poking through a bit, but I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I think I was expecting more of a sheer coverage, but this is leaning on the medium coverage. This is dried down, but you can see like there's a sheen to it. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I like satin finish foundations, but like look how shiny I am. So the sheen in this is ridiculous. I mean, I like a satin finish foundation, but um, as I was getting up close, to blend up around my nose and on my forehead. There is, I wanna say there's glitter, but there's glitter in this. I mean, you can see the sheen on my face from far away. Up close though, I look like a disco ball. Oh my God, there's like glitter all under my nose. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna do the other side of my face. And at this point, I'm just gonna go with whatever is less glitter balmy, if that's even a word. Uh, yeah, the brush is a bad idea for this foundation. It just makes it look even more glittery. So I'm just gonna try and diffuse that a little bit with uh, the sponge. So I was panicking a little earlier because it really did look like I had like dipped my face in like a face full of glitter. Because under my nose especially, I could just see like it had a glitter mustache for lack of a better word. Yeah, that seems to have toned down a bit and now it's just more of a sheen. So the coverage for this is pretty decent. I mean, I can still see some freckles poking through and everything, but at this point, I really am not in the mood today for like a full face of like foundation. Now that my panic attack over the glitter is toned down, my only real complaint is the color. You can see like that's where the foundation <laughs> begins and ends. So it's a little dark for me, but um, I knew going into this that this probably was not gonna be a good color for me seeing as the shade range was only six colors. So I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup and I will see you in a bit. Where to even begin with this one? So here's the thing. For the most part, it looks really, really nice 
from like my eyes down. My forehead though, I have no words to describe what's going on up there. So I'll just zoom you in and show you. It honestly, it looks like somebody smacked me on the forehead and my forehead is split in two because uh, there is a line that's like amplified times a hundred up there by this foundation. So I'll just zoom you in and show you like that right there. What the heck is that? And then like I, that line there and then these here, I mean, I don't know where they came from, but they weren't there 20 minutes ago. And now it's like, what on earth is going on up there? The odd thing is that's the only place that's doing that. Like it's not creasing around my eyes at all. And it's not creasing around my mouth. Yeah, so um, we're off to a rough start. So on my eyebrows, I'm also testing out the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pen. I'll put the link to that up there once the video is posted. On my lips, I am wearing the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in Blushing Rose, which I'm also testing out. That'll also be linked up above, and the links will also be in the description as well. For blush, I'm wearing the e.l.f. Total Face Palette, and I'm actually wearing a combination of the two peach colors. For eyes, I'm wearing this middle color in the crease from the NYX Perfect Filter Palette. And on my lid, I don't think they make this anymore, but I thought I'd show you anyway. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Palette, and I'm wearing this center color on my crease. So the time is 928, so I'm going to go on throughout my day, and I'll check in with you guys in five hours and let you know how this has been holding up. So the time is 4.03. Sorry about the delay. I meant to film the five hour update um, at three, but then I went on to YouTube and I saw that Shane Dawson had uploaded part two of the Jake Paul series and I'm human. I had to watch. So let's get into this. So that crease on my forehead is a mess. I don't know what's going on up there, but every little line and crease that, uh, like, look at that. Ew, look at that. I have like a vertical line. Where on earth did that come from? Okay, I've never seen that before. So if the creasing wasn't bad enough, I don't know if you can necessarily tell in this light. Maybe when I edit, it'll show a little bit more, but um, I am Oompa Loompa Orange. Like, or let me get up a little bit higher. That is my natural color. You can maybe tell a bit better by looking at my ears. My ears are like pasty white and the rest of me is Oompa Loompa Orange. So the color already was not a good match for me, but um, it has oxidized significantly since earlier. Everything else about this foundation though looks okay, sadly. Um, the glitter situation that I was experiencing earlier seems to have toned down a bit. And the foundation itself feels very comfortable on my skin. Like it doesn't feel drying or itching or anything. Yeah, like other than that creasing that's going on up there, everything else looks really nice. Like there's nothing, like no dry patches being emphasized on my face or anything. So unfortunately this one is not the greatest for me, but uh, I still have another five hours to go. So I will see you later on tonight. So the time is 8.45. So everything that was wrong with this foundation earlier is still wrong. I don't know, I'm just, I'm looking really greasy. I mean, my skin tends to be on the drier side normally, so it's unusual for my forehead to look extraordinarily shiny, um, but um, it's not looking too great. Yeah, I'll zoom you in to give you a close-up of those lines zigzagging across my forehead. I see teeny tiny lines everywhere in places that I never knew existed. So I'm going to zoom you in and show you my forehead. Um, ignore my under eyes. I'm testing a new concealer right now, and it's... Uh, it's a hot mess. So, I mean, look at that. I mean, there's lines everywhere. And even texture. I mean, I see texture everywhere. I'm not used to that, especially with like the greasiness of this foundation. I mean, I like satin finishes. I love glowy foundations, but this is just like, it's a whole nother level. So besides the action that's going on on my forehead and uh, the color is completely unwearable. I'm just gonna pull my hair back. You can see the line going across my neck there. So if that wasn't bad enough, when I was in the bathroom underneath like fluorescent lighting that is completely not flattering, I noticed like little bumps forming on my cheeks, like right along here. And they're a little bit on this side, but I noticed it more on this side. See all that happening right there. It's like I'm having an allergic reaction or something. There's a little bit happening. It's a teeny amount there, but for whatever reason, it's really concentrated over on this side. 
Yeah, I'm having some sort of skin reaction happen in here, which quite honestly, up until I looked in the mirror, I didn't even know it was happening. I'm not experiencing any skin irritation or burning or anything like that. So unfortunately, this one is a no for me. Between the skin reaction and the color, even if I could correct the color, because the shade range is so limited with this foundation, I thought this might be one I could mix with other foundations. But after I got up close and saw like that skin reaction thing happening on my face, this one is definitely a no for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.